Um, so in the define and establish stewardship, uh, you, know, you might call it uh, by a lot of different names. Maybe it's a data moderator or your data council or data coordinator. You know, we often talk about data stewardships or data moderators, but it doesn't really matter. These are talking about people who are, are, are able to sort of make governance decisions around the content involved with your, your data. Um, so one of the things as you think about stewardship is to understand that, that you know, you have to uh, pick the, the people uh, very deliberately for their strengths, right, and, and play into the, their, their expertise, right? So some people may have uh, business rule expertise that they can say like, oh, I'm a registrar and I know all about the, uh, the, the business of the, of the business rules and the, and the functional business glossary definitions and, and how we use our data and all those types of things. Uh, but they may not be te have technical system expertise of your student information system, right? Um, or maybe they do and that's okay. Like, so you want to think about like who, who are the people who can sort of span this? Like you're going to not have a whole lot of success in their stewardship if you ask people um, to make decisions or take actions on things that are outside of their comfort zone or their or their level of expertise. Um, so the, think about the, the business rule expertise over your different data domains or your different functional areas. Think about your technical system expertise over the different systems within those functional areas. And then governance oversight, like who's doing things like um, setting the vision or, or designing process or, or managing the cues of things as, as, as we we'll get to talk about that in the process and workflow. Uh, so the other thing you want to think about is that you may or may not be able to apply all those same stewards across all the content that you have. So um, ideally you, you can, like that's the ideal situation is you've got people who are fairly robust in their experience, but uh, you know, are they gonna be able to do things like do business glossary data definitions or manage data inquiries and requests or uh, you know, approve or, or um, review specifications or design for reports and extracts and integrations or um, do data quality issue resolution or, or, or create and, and define data quality rules or manage reference data lists or, or work on your data system inventory or technical metadata or manage security and access and privacy codes. So, uh, you know, you want to think about as you're de defining your stewardship where, where those roles are. Of course, it's also going to depend on what you're focusing on. Again, you know, as, as I said, we'll talk about later, you don't, I don't, we don't encourage people to start with all of these things at once. Um, but, but one of, you know, one of our experience on best practices with governance is that if you, you know, assign people again to be in charge of things that they're not comfortable with or haven't been trained in or don't understand, you're not going to get a whole lot of uh, success. So uh, we have sort of a, you can create sort of a simple matrix for your governance around, you know, the, the, the business areas and, and um, functional and technical resources. And again, you could have the same person in multiple buckets and that's fine. Um, or you could have a fairly complicated one. So over like your student records uh, technical system and your human resources, the technical system, or you know, there, they, there may be uh, a different person who's in charge of understanding the technical details for your student, student information system, as opposed to the person who understands where it is in your warehouse or your retention. So, uh, you know, think about that as you, as you specify this. It's also, um, the other recommendation I don't have here is to, to really think about things in terms of roles and not just people, like people matter, right? But, but notice that, you know, people are going to come and go from their positions and come and go from your organization. So you, you, you might want to match this up by role or, or office rather than just an individual. 